This is my kilowatt meter in the wall and attached to that I have the Sylvania, Sylvania um, heavy duty appliance timer. I've got my timer set to run 50, uh, 30 minutes every two hours. I've got it on the timer setting right now. The light is off because it's not time to run the appliance right now. So I'm going to turn the appliance on my side side by side refrigerator freezer to see uh, what the temperatures are in the refrigerator and freezer. And the reason why I'm using this timer is to see if I can keep the refrigerator and freezer at the desired temperature by using less energy. And if I'm able to do that, then I'll be able to run the refrigerator freezer on my solar panels. So right now, without the timer, in a 24 hour period, I use 2.5 kilowatts which is a lot of power when you're trying to run everything off of solar. So the goal is to use the timer, find out how little I can have the power on on the refrigerator freezer uh, without um, diminishing the, the effectiveness of the refrigerator and freezer. So let me uh, show you what the front of the refrigerator and freezer looks like right now. So here's the control panel. I'm just going to push colder and it shows you that right now the temperature in the freezer is one degree and the temperature in the refrigerator is 35 degrees. We're going to let this run for 24 hours and then we're going to see what the temperature is after running this for 30 minutes every two hours and see if that is enough time to um, enough electricity to keep things cold and to see if we can't save on electricity. So I'll be back in 24 hours. Okay, as you can see, it's almost been exactly 24 hours, 23 hours and 57 minutes uh, since I plugged this in. And let's see how much power we used. Without using uh, the, the timer here, we used uh, 2.5 kilowatts last time. And this time, using the timer to run 30 minutes every two hours, we used 90, uh, 0.94 kilowatts. So somewhere around a third of the power that we used before. So that's pretty good power savings. Of course, it's only good if uh, the refrigerator and freezer still work. So let's take a look at that. All right, so let's take a see what the temperature was. This was at 3 degrees and now it's 15 so that's 12 degrees warmer and here let me get down here it's 41 degrees and my wife says it's typically uh, 30 37 degrees so that is 4 degrees warmer on the refrigerator side so we still have we're still 17 degrees below freezing here and still it's 41 degrees in the refrigerator so that's still very very usable so is that cold enough to keep the ice cream and the ice frozen let's check go ahead and open it up here's the ice maker we got plenty of ice ice is looking good so yes we can have cold drinks and here's the ice cream, Bluebell ice cream. And let's see how that looks. And there's the ice cream, looking good. So I would say 15 degrees in the freezer definitely works. Ice and ice cream, not bad. Oh, this is my wife's soft serve. Soft serve ice cream. <laughs> Of course, instead of putting the refrigerator freezer on a timer, you could just uh, increase the temperature of the freezer and the refrigerator. So it would normally be at 15 degrees or 41 degrees. However, you would never really know when the refrigerator and freezer cycle on and off and you wouldn't have total control of how much power it uses. So by having it on a timer, you absolutely know it's not going to use more than 30 minutes of power in a two hour period. Something to, something to consider when you're looking to conserve power. There are a couple of features that really, really make this particular timer 
exceptional. One of them is, and I absolutely love this, that there are no little pins that fall out. All the pins stay connected to the uh, timer and so that you don't lose any pins, which is absolutely awesome. They just pop up, slide up and down. That alone, it makes this an awesome a timer. Second thing is it has the, uh, the, on, the timer function, so everything's working, or the on function if you want to bypass that. And the other feature, which is this uh, extra untimed outlet. So if you want to use uh, something in the timer, you plug it in here. If you want to use something that isn't timed but needs power, just plug it in here. And even though the item on the side that's on the timer uh, is working on, on a timer, the bottom one isn't. Great features. Um, it seems to be very well made. I like that, that it has a light on it so you can see that uh, whether it's on the on position or, you know, or the uh, timer position or if there's power going through that. So great little timer. Very, very happy with it. Um, couldn't, couldn't be any happier. It just uh, does a great, great job. This was the best consumer rated uh, timer on Amazon. It's 15 amps, it's a heavy duty appliance timer. And the best price I found was on Amazon. I'll have a link down below the video in the description box. So if you want to take a look at this, just click the link down there and it'll take you right there. I bought four uh, for possibly different appliances that, that I would be running. One for sure on the refrigerator freezer here, another one on the chest freezer we have, and maybe a couple other appliances too. Uh, for sure, the refrigerator freezer is going to be the biggest power consumer um, uh, on my solar panels. And so by getting this, this uh, timer, I would be able to run my entire refrigerator freezer on my solar panels if I were to double my solar panel capacity, which is what I'm looking to do here, or maybe quadruple it. Uh, so more, more information on that later. So I would say two thumbs up for the uh, Sylvania Heavy Duty Appliance Timer. Find out what works best for you in your situation. Um, another one that we, we, I'll be using this with is our window air conditioner, uh, so that we have that if we need that when we're running on solar.